Hi everybody. We've been thinking about the eternal love of God the Father for God the Son. And we've been thinking about Trinitarian theology. And today I want us to consider the love of the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit's involvement in the Trinity, the third person of the Trinity. How does he um, get wrapped up in the love of God the Father and God the Son? And I want us to first consider Matthew chapter 3 and the moment where Jesus is baptised by John the Baptist. Because at the moment of Jesus' baptism, Jesus sees the heavens open and the Holy Spirit descend on Jesus like a dove. And the dove rests on Jesus. And then a voice from heaven, the voice of God the Father, cries out and says, This is my Son whom I love with whom I am well pleased. This is a moment where God the Father declares his love for the Son. And in that moment also gives, pours out the Holy Spirit to rest upon him. And this becomes a pattern in scripture that where the Holy Spirit is given, where the Holy Spirit is poured out, that is a sign and a symbol of God's love. In Romans 5 verse 5 it says this, God's love has been poured into our hearts through the Holy Spirit who has been given to us. <clears throat> and so the Holy Spirit is, is a way of the Father making known his love. He made known his love for the Son by pouring out the Holy Spirit and he makes known his love in our hearts by giving us the Holy Spirit as Christians as well. In other words, the Holy Spirit is just as wrapped up in the love of God as the Father and the Son. The Father loves the Son, the Son loves the Father. The Father loves the Spirit, the Spirit loves the Father. The Son loves the Spirit and the Spirit loves the Son. And all three persons of the Godhead love us who have been adopted into the family of God. And as a symbol of this, God has poured out his Holy Spirit into us so that we might know his love for us. <clears throat> and throughout the Bible, throughout history, the Holy Spirit has worked with the Father and the Son in important moments to do great works, not just at the baptism do we see the Father, the Son and the Spirit all moving and working together, but also in creation, the Father and the Son or the Father and the Word and the Spirit all work together to create the world. The salvation of a Christian, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit all have important roles to play in the way that you were saved as a Christian. The Holy Spirit is a person, not an impersonal, impersonal force. Reeves writes this, the Holy Spirit speaks and sends, Acts 13 verses 2 and 4. He chooses, Acts 20 verse 28. He teaches, John 14 verse 26. The Holy Spirit gives, Isaiah 63 verse 14. He can be lied to, he can be tested, he can be resisted, he can be grieved and he can be blasphemed. The Holy Spirit is a person, one of the three persons of the Holy Trinity that we believe in. God the Father, God the Son and God the Holy Spirit. One God, but three distinct persons who love one another who work together, each with specific roles and functions to play. A father who loves the son, and a son who loves and obeys his father. And the Holy Spirit, who is given by the father and rests upon the son. All three persons of God existing in eternity before the world had even been created. Our God Father, Son and Holy Spirit is a God of eternal love. Lord God, Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Holy Spirit, we thank you for your love for us. And we thank you 
that you are love, that your love has existed eternally before the creation of the world. You three persons of the Trinity loved one another and that love has overflowed into creation. We thank you so much for your love, Lord God. Amen. Tomorrow, that's exactly what we'll think about, how the love of the Trinity overflowed into creating the world. I look forward to seeing you there.